Be me, be dazzled. Day 4 of NoFap. Watching documentary on World War II airplanes. Notice how smooth and shiny the skin of one of them is. Imagine what it would feel like to touch. Dick turns into diamonds. You f***ers told me this was a good thing to do. Be me. Sit with small group of friend. Because larger group is hard to talk with. Friend 1 is an eye funny fag. And friend 2 is quiet. See free range tard. I wish we had more tar dranglers at this school. Friends start laughing hysterically. Friend 1 where did you get tar drangler from? From 4chan. Friend 1. What is 4chan? I then explain 4chan is and then read it. End of day. Friend 1 tells his grandpa about tar drangler. His grandpa laughs for 10 minutes straight according to friend 1. Friend's grandpa asks where he got tar drangler from. Anon said it. That's how I made an old man laugh. Be me 15 minutes ago. Shower. Finish showering. Feel that my anus is wet. Decide that clapping my butt cheeks will dry it off. Start wiggling with the power of Zeus. My balls are currently at Mach 3 speed and sometimes are hitting the back of my scrotum. Here it comes. Hit.wav. Instant erection. My face when. Be me. Third year Irish secondary school I was 15. All the teachers use projectors. Idea.jpg. Lunch break. Me and few friends walk into a teacher's class and steal a remote. In every class we go to we keep turning the projectors off. Fast forward next week. They get a guy. To look at the computers. To find out what was wrong. Nothing.png. Next day start f***ing with them again. Give it to friends in other classes. So they don't suspect anyone from our class. Teachers are going insane. Keep this up for like 2 months. My face when they found out it was us. Be me 13. It's my birthday. My friends and I are sitting eating lunch and they ask what I expect for my birthday. I tell them a shitty joke about wanting to die. They laugh. Didn't realize the tard walking by. Later in the hallway the tard puts a plastic bag or in my head and starts suffocating me. Of course students are dumbasses so everyone just stares in awe. I'm struggling against him when he whispers in my ear. Happy birthday. Finally teachers come and I'm freed. My face when my birthday present was suffocation. Epic Gangnam Style cringe story. Be me 12 years old Gangnam Style is top of the charts everywhere. Teacher approaches me and my cousin for a special Gangnam request. She asks us to dance to Gangnam Style when they play it in assembly so that other people will join in. The time comes music starts. Oppa Gangnam Style. Me and my cousin both start doing lay epic Gangnam Style dance. 1000 students in the hall nobody joins in. People are staring we keep going. Eventually the music stops and nobody ever mentions what just happened ever. Again thank fuck. Mom gets off work early without calling first. Finds me erotically washing my Civic only in my booty shorts. She finds that I'm good at washing cars. Wants me to go back inside for a talk. I follow suit. Informs me a local car wash open for the summer season is wanting some help because I can't do it for free. If I'm good at it, I sign up. Fast forward next late morning. We arrive at an outside car wash operating by women in their booty shorts and bras. The ginger one welcomes me to it. Her 9 out of 10 looks give me a stiffy. They notice my expanding dick and go coochie coochie coo on it. I warn them that we are in public and I don't want to make a scene. If you know what I mean. They stop as our first customer of the day arrives. A woman in her 50s is driving a van and accompanying a 420 pound man in his 20s. The man has a neck beard and a trill be fit for a kiss less virgin. He becomes enticed of our childbearing assets. His mother gives us a heads up that there is some serious cleaning we have to do. Hands us the $25, the price of the most expensive wash set we offer. They head over to a nearby McDonald's. We get to work. I notice some stains inside and open the back doors. Two weeks worth of shit piss and food stains caked up the back letting out a putrid smell. We did all we could dispose of the shit and piss jugs properly scrubbed the stains off and gave it a nice shower. Every subsequent second of bending over rubbing myself and feeling the summer breeze kept my dick erect. The two return. And the mother thanks us for the hard work. The man still stuffing his face with tenders isn't satisfied. No you made my chariot smell like roasty perfume you f***ing roasters. Myself included. I walk up to the mother and she says Humphrey just wants the van. To be the way he likes. Shit and piss all over. There is something I have to tell you I'm a man. Everyone except my crew stops in their tracks and turns toward me. 
I can't believe I just done that JPEG. But, you have the assets of a MILF, and move like one, how is that possible? I give the mother a backstory about my month's worth of dieting, and yoga with some of my mom's genetics made me into a pear, shaped male satisfied with a current lifestyle, then inform her that jobs like outdoor car washing and nursing are not exclusive to one gender, the man waiting in the back is banging on the window, mommy mommy hurry the fuck up you slow, so I have to do my post breakfast session. The mother whispers in my ear that it has to do with unhealthy amounts of watching anime and gaming before heading out. Weirdest day at my summer job ever. Not OP but this happened. When I was 13. Just started to be able to come. Parents tell me to go. We'd eat the backyard. I'm in the back working hard we'd eat her running at max. It's vibrating like crazy. And it grazes against my cock and balls. I thought it felt good. Press the engine up under dick and balls. Let there be cum.jpg. I rev the engine to its max feels f***ing amazing. Feel myself about to come. I pull down my shorts, so I don't get my underwear all crusty, cock, and balls fully exposed. My f***ing mom walks around the corner right as I come. I didn't even know, until I was finished, since my eyes were closed. I got in huge f***ing trouble, and from there on out was watched like a hawk. When I did lawn work, be me, driving, three critical errands truck dies cold, I'm so very fucked now dot mp3, dead center. In busiest intersection in whole fucking area, worst luck ever dot gif, coast to gas station, dead fuel pump, fuck 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 fuck, bright side, walking home man says, do I want moved out sun surfboard, fuck yeah, get home to nice post yo, my girlfriend said her tits are bigger than usual, and she puked a few days ago, do I have to worry about pregnancy, no, Push her down the stairs just to be safe. Hey be quick question. How f***ed am I? Be me. Be yesterday. Merifag. At work. Found sweet part time gig. Watching rich kids at a private daycare. Nothing too fancy just a house. In a not great area of the city. Job is great cause I can be as autistic as I want. And the kids don't care. Was great. Not sure if I still. Have it after this. Outside. Sitting on hill with QT pie boss. See plastic bottle full of yellow liquid. WTF. She says don't touch it it's piss. Saw the bottle was a bit puffy. Detective mode activated. As you can clearly see this bottle has been slowly filling with gas. Thus adding to the internal pressure of the bottle. This gas is caused by bacterium fermenting the liquid inside. Thus it can safely be assumed that the liquid therein is a sugary substance. Going full Sherlock now. I can say without a doubt that the substance inside this bottle. Step closer and lift my leg with a dramatic flare. Hercule Poirot would be proud. Is apple juice. Stamped down hard on the bottle while triumphantly laughing. Pop. I was wrong. I was so fucking wrong. This sprays fucking everywhere. On my leg on my boss and a little bit on some of the nearby kids. Oh fuck dot jpeg. Boss is screaming. But I'm already running back home at this point. Work is calling me today. Should I even go back in? How fucked am I? Be me. Be black. Be 1998. Working as an assistant director and sound guy for TV shows of old. Hard to get work as young non-white in 1998. Get job on kids show called Teletubbies. Turns out the idea was cooked up by some producers when they were drunk who thought it great to have a show about toddlers with telebellies. It will make kids watch more TV. Ok.jpg. Turns out the show is a massive clusterfuck. Two of the actors for the Teletubbies are gay and have been caught f***ing in the costumes three fucking times. They are both unbelievably gay it's purple and yellow. Purple is the blackest skinniest faggot I've ever seen. They keep having to replace the costumes. Due to how the insurance is set up they get more money from hiding M and getting a new one rather than cleaning. There is like 20 costumes stored under the building in a little hidey hole behind a grate in a little rock courtyard. Come to set one day catch yellow coming all over the purple suit with the actor in it. Disgusted.jpg. Can't use the suit now. Tell director what I saw. Director tells me it's fine just get another costume, there are none. Director tells me to get another suit before shooting, or risk losing my job. Grab that disgusting purple faggot tell him to take off filthy costume, tell him we are going into the courtyard to replace his suit. So angry at this brother's lack of self control. Open the great sea of purple costume and pull it out. It's crawling with little bugs and lice and cobwebs a stain. Tell Fedget to wash it and put it on. 
he hates bugs and freaks out refuses to wear it even if it's washed. Says that lice kill black people and only itch white people. Lol what? Try to force him into the suit. He slips and slams the side of his head on a sharp rock. Fuck fuck fuck. Bugs start coming out of the hole. Fuck the P.O. lice coming straight from the underground. A young nigga got it bad cause I'm brown. And not the other color. So po lice think they have the authority to kill a minority. If you liked the video be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Follow me on Twitter by clicking the links in the description.